College Game Day is fueled by Mountain Dew. A pyramid coach here at Louisville Memphis Games, the former home of the Tigers, now sits along the banks of the Mississippi, mostly unused. They say it's Disney Summit Casino sometime soon. Well, ever since the dawn of the video game era, kids have been trying to convince their parents that gaming has real benefits with important skills like hand-eye coordination. Well, now, John Calipari and Memphis, the roles are kind of reversed. He's telling his players to play a computer game. The freshman point guard Darius Washington leading the way. Steve Cyphers explains why this game, called Intelligim, may actually be a real key to Memphis' success. Darius Washington is fast. But early in the season, the game was faster. So much to know, so many choices, so little time. And the highly touted freshman and the Tigers struggle. Washington has it blocked as well. Then came Christmas break, and the training began. The computer game is called IntelliGym. And what it does is it helps them make better decisions, quicker decisions, and makes them a better mental basketball player. It's something that makes your brain stronger, faster. That's it. Gilad Shoham, a pro basketball coach in Israel, is the director of basketball operations for Applied Cognitive Engineering, the company behind the game. From the player's point of view, he's playing a video game. But from their mind point of view, if I could cut the brain open and look what's happening inside the brain while they're playing this video game, it's exact same processes while they're on the court. And this is the guy that provides the talent. What skill sets did you hope to improve? Just making easy plays, making the right choices. This game is played fast, but is it moving slower in your mind? I want my guys to play fast, but I don't want the game to be fast for them. It was for the Israeli Air Force the researchers in the field of cognitive engineering designed the game in the late 1980s. A tweak here and there, and it became a training tool for basketball. I mean, we're going now. Every kid is not going to be good at this. Uh, Galad, I said to him about a couple of the guys, and he said, "Wow, this guy's really good. This guy here." Who I said, so you wouldn't put him in an, an F-1 fighter. He said, I'm not sure I'd get in a car with him. If a, a pilot makes make a mistake, he can die, he can kill other people. But if a basketball player will miss a shot or will make a turnover, you know what, for him it's basically the same. He always wants to die. But this is a process. You need to make a split second decision that is undoable. Targeting perception, anticipation, spatial relations, and decision-making, sessions last between 30 and 45 minutes, two, maybe three times a week. After a while, it became mandatory. It was like homework. It's like, you don't do your homework, it's like, you got to run. The guys that really bought in, the Darius Washington, it helped. Some other guys didn't buy in. And they're also the same guys that make bad decisions. Washington says he noticed a difference in his basketball after five sessions on the computer, just about the time Memphis began conference play. Washington Jr., a star in the making. It's improved just, just knowing when to shoot and when to pass. It really makes your mind move fast, but you're playing slow. When Darius looked at the stats of before he started doing it, now what he's doing, I think it's like, whoa, wait a minute. There, there's something, this is more than a coincidence. Intelligent tracks the numbers as closely as the coaches, and in every category, Washington's improved. I don't think it's the only reason their numbers went up and their decision making went up, but it played a part. It would have came, you know, eventually, you know, because you'd have been doing it every day, but I think that Intelligent gave the extra boost, you know, they're like another coach, 